Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial in Revit Global Knowledge. Today I'm going to show you how to create another interesting project in Revit. This project, project is called Assemble School of Management Business Innovation Hub. The project is designed by big architect and location in United States and this project the total area around 65,000 square meter and I saw a lot of people they share on Instagram I think it's time to build those kind of project in my channel okay anyway before I getting start I would like to ask you and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you didn't know about me yet my name is Ben from Revit Global Knowledge I'm going to help you from zero to hero and from beginner level to professional level make sure hit subscribe button below and turn on for all notifications for learn more about Revit so you won't miss my future tutorial okay so it's time to speak into our project together let's speak into our project okay so now i am conceptual mass interface for auto with 2021 student version so what we are starting for we need to create some reference plan first by created i need to go to level one there over here and what we need to do is i just go to plan here or rp for shortcut key just like here and use a pick line then for offset we just make it for eight we consider this one let's say we make it for 18 meter let's say 18 meter okay 18 by 18 hit escape first now we got our square for reference we need to create some curve here first by creating that i need to go to reference then select for the center and arch here select this guy over there then start from the center point until this corner there and select here again then start straight until like this is 180 degree i just hit finish escape first hit get a couple of time go to reference again then we go to pick and then let's say we offset this one for um, eight meter okay perfect hit escape first then go to line there reference line we need to connect this guy over there here one two and from here one and two hit escape first then i can select my whole line there go to create form solid form and use for this one and for our positive offset there i will make it for 12 meter yep hit apply okay it's perfect i need to go to my sound elevation i need to create some level first hit escape first ll on my keyboard for shortcut key for level then i can start with something like this hit escape first it 12 meter is perfect then i can close this one first and what we need to do i need to create some curve first by create that i need to go to my um, okay we use our center and arts again select here then i can start from the center one like this okay it's correct one until here then hit us get then just select my line there go to copy then press align select to level 2 that we created before and go to our 3d there as you can see and for the first round there i will delete first later on you will know the reason why i created this line there go to my level 1 again and here I go i just like here i don't want this one to make my floor plan messy so i can hide element first then go to line there just make a straight line here like this one then hit escape then hr for reverb at my line there go to my 3d i can close my level one first okay so now we got our first line and second line what we need to do i just like for first line there hit hold control key on my keyboard for multiple selection then create form solid form okay sorry may i turn back for two seconds like here again then like here again then i can create form solid form okay as you can see 
Here is for applying for our curtain glass panel. And let's speak into our project first, as you can see. Here is for our glass panel there for slant one. And let me turn back first. Okay, so now we got our form already. I need to go to my Revit architecture template. Control and on my keyboard for a new template. Just drop down finding for metric architecture template. Then I can hit OK. Okay, of course we need to turn back our concept to much to load this much into our project. I need to load into project first. My suggestion is you need to save first before you load into project because um, we need to protect our file. Make sure sometimes we never sell that and we need to draw it back again and again. So you need to sell first. But in my case, there I got sell already before so I can live here like this. First go to my level 1. And I would like to go to my sound elevation first. Basically, sound elevation that I place my position there is for front view. So I can select here one, then trace one outside here, big, and select here. CF for grid as similar, pick line. Offset for four meter. Sorry, and offset like this one and two. As you can see, it's perfect. Just like my level four there and rename it for roof apply okay let me go to my 3d and i want to hide my level first then i can select here simply select here like this right click on my closer go to hide view by element okay so i can go to my messing and side messing and side there Go to create curtain system. Okay, before I create my curtain system, I want to create for structure here first. So I can go to my family there, then drop down finding for curtain wall marlin there, and finding for rectangle 50 by 150 millimeter. I don't want to affect my previous sitting for Marlin there, Marlin there, so I can duplicate there and just make it for structure. Okay, just leave it for structure. And for the material there, of course, you can change that, but I want to type this one because I want to cover for thickness on dimension only. So for thickness, I will make it for one meter and dimension there one, I will make it for 100 millimeter. And I cap here first, control C, then control V, then I can hit OK. OK, perfect. It's time to apply our content system. Go to curtain system there by first like here, then like for the first line one and second line two, and just create our curtain. But before we create our system, we need to go to our curtain system first. Go to edit type there. Then I want to change for grid two. Basically, grid two is for horizontal. Then I will make it for none and for layout there. I will make it for one meter. And for layout, just make it for foot number. The grid two basically is a vertical. And for the grid one million there, I just train it for structure. Control C and Control V and cap again. Control V hit apply then it's finished. Okay, we can create our system. Hit escape first. As you can see, now we got our sloping structure is running properly. So I need to create my floor first. Basically, you can select your mask there, then mask by floor. But let me show you first. So let's tell you will know the reason. Not what I want because I want to extend my plot until here. Same as our photo there. Let me see first. As you can see, our plot is until here. So let me speak back first. Okay, so may I hit Ctrl Z of choose a can for undo. Then I can open up for my side plan. 
because side plan we can sew all side plan there then can go to architecture floor then use a pick line start pick from here one and for the copy as well two and this guy inside here also hit escape a couple of time then here i can extend here until here we will be snapping as you can see and it's time to connect that just connect here one and two and connect from there as well hit escape then we just hit finish first first floor we just leave it for generate 150 millimeter go to our copy to clipboard then pass then align to select level then we can start from the one until roof like this hit ok as you can see overlap because we before that we got created our level one already so we can, we need to delete that i just go to my 3d there then i will delete my first floor first okay perfect now i can go to my side plan there wf or my keyboard for shortcut key then i can simply zoom in a bit draw it like this first okay hit us get is it this one is straight one okay i think it's straight one then we can go to our 3d go to edit profile because i want to apply my wall there is like this so i can delete these two guys first pick line pick for the slant one here sorry okay TR on my keyboard for trim and extend for shortcut key. Okay, perfect. Then we can change from basic wall to store front. Go to store front there. Then as you can see, and I can extend that until 12 meter. Hit apply. Then I can hit finish. Delete element. This one, no worry about that. As you can see. And I can go to my sound elevation there. Let me create some door first. Hit a tab key on my keyboard until I got my million there. And pick, then I can delete it. Then I can select this guy again. Hit a tab key on my keyboard. Okay, zoom in a bit. And pick, then delete. Select my grid there. Add grid. Then just like here, then hit enter, it will be cut again, here again, and grid, hit select there, hit enter, okay, sorry, hit enter, okay, what happened? Okay, perfect. Now it's time to load our door there, hit a tab key on my keyboard again, I need to unpick first. Then basically, there are in our setting there, we have nothing for our door. So I can go to the type there, load family, and now it's a door panel. I can select my glass door. Let me choose first big one is perfect for me. Okay, I would like this one. I like this one. And I can hit OK. Again, it's like another panel there. Then unpick. Then train to finding for the curtain the ball storefront. As you can see, we got our door already. And go to our 3D there. Train to find again. Yep. So it's time to apply our wall there. Go to architecture tab here. Wall. Then pick. I can let me adjustment for our sitting first. Make it for 12 meter. Then simply pick here and pick here and pick here. Then select these two guy there. Train to store front. Then I can edit that. Then I can duplicate. Just let's say this one is store front too. And maximum spacing, I will make it for one meter. This one will be none structure we just leave it like this then i can hit okay okay so now for each generating delete some grid line first okay as you can see but this guy over there basically this one is a wall i change back to wall first generate model 200 okay 
and this guy over there we are trying it to storefront basically it's storefront too yep liquid first okay perfect so now what we need to do next i'm going to my side plan there i will make it more interesting a bit go to floor and go to pick let's say we offset for two meter i can offset here hit a tab key first until i got what i want okay um two meter yep then i can connect there let me make it like this it has get first then i can finish the location there is for placing some tree then i can finish then i can go to my messing and side there go to um, in plasma okay then simply go to rectangle simply start here like this we consider this one is the building there and make this guy over there um extend here like this first okay so go to our 3d there i can select here then create form solid form okay just like this top one and adjustment just make it same as our high 12 meter then I can like just simply hit finish first. Okay. Select this guy again. Make it more interesting a bit. Then go to our messing floor. Create floor. Let's me select here first. Mess floor. Select here. Hold control 6 on our keyboard and take here. It's okay. And I can go to my roots. Roots by first, like there make just make it 420 millimeter then create roof go to messing inside again then wall yep create some wall first then i can go to my hit escape a couple of time first content systems like our front one and just make it for let's say we get our custom system there okay we let's say we consider our perspective for this building is like this basically this one is not like this but i just simply draw that for so don't mind me about that so i want to go to my side plan there i can place some tree there we make for 12.5 meter just make it like this then i can drop down finding for smaller one make it more realistic it has get then go to 3d okay i think what is we are missing is our check there is school for management but it is easier to apply that i can go to my sound elevation there then i can go to architecture and model check and pick a plan i can pick for the glass there okay so i same bird school aus minix german yeah, okay and then we can apply there like let's say we apply there like this it's too big so we can adjust that go to the tie there and just make it for 500 millimeter yeah, apply and it's finished go to our side plan again then i can go to camera there start from here until here like this okay and i can go to graphic display option then we'll make it for shadow cast shadow ambient shadow i want to make this model into our skip mode so like this one make here like this just make it for two and this guy over there make it for two as well then hit apply first as you can see okay this one is too much hit apply just make this one zero yep and skip mode just make this one for one then i can hit drop down finding for realistic and background 
for background there i will make it for sky or gradient let's say we make this one for sky and for the floor ground floor there i will make it for black color then make it something like this hit okay and then hit apply then hit finish okay as you can see here is our script mode or you can adjustment that go to our graphic there and you can play around with that this one you can untick there hit apply it will be no more there then here i can change this one for shape as you can see okay i think it's pretty much for this tutorial thank you guys for joining me from start to finish for the project and i hope you got learned something new and got a new concept to create at those kind of complex project in your in revit okay guys thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe button below and turn on for all notification so you won't miss my future tutorial uh, i see you for another tutorial in revit and have a nice day thank you